All right, staff members. Um, I just wanted to share with you a quick video on how to create an interactive notebook. This is something that um, Cami just tweeted out last week, being the last full week of August 2021. And I want to show you, I, I made one with uh, the beginnings of rock. So I have Fats Domino here, Chuck Berry, Little Richard, Jerry Lee Lewis, Chuck Berry, and uh, I'm sorry, Buddy Holly, and that's Buddy Holly and Bill Haley, actually, and then Elvis, and then a vocab section. So this background was was a default that um, you could get through Cami. So this is all, the backgrounds are all Cami, but the material that I use is all mine that I use in, in the classroom. So you just click on Fats Domino in Canvas, or in, in Cami, and you're, you're brought to a guided note section that I created. And then I embedded, or added media, I use my add media tool, and I put a video, all right? Now, how do you create this? So now that I've seen, I've showed you the end products and they can go down, then keep scrolling, all right? And it goes through and it goes, you can click on any of the tabs. So when you are doing, let's say a lesson, let's say you're halfway through it and you're halfway through the inter, in, uh, interactive um, notebook. So if this will load, let me just show you while that loads, what this is like or if maybe that will load. This is fun. Come on. So what I did is it, I walked through the steps that they posted. The Cami posted an article on how to do this. So what I did is I read the article. It was step-by-step -step with small videos that were embedded within the post. And what you do is you change the page setup, which is somewhere up here in this area. And of course my I think it's down here, yeah, page setup. You click file, page setup. You set your parameters to, I believe, seven and a half by 10. Um, so just smaller than a regular sheet of paper. And you can set the backgrounds, then you can set the links. And all you do is you, the links are internal links within the Google slide. So when I click on that, it, when I click on the Fats Domino link or the, the Little Richard link, it'll take me to the very first slide that I started with that. But here's the catch. When I was doing this, I put in videos. So after I get past Big Band here and Tin Pan Alley, I put in videos. I put in videos in the actual file itself, thinking that that would work. Well, let's see if I can get to a file one where I put in, now the pictures transfer. The pictures transfer, no big deal. The issue comes with video. So with me, with being a music teacher, I, I, especially with music history, I need those videos. I need the audio. I need those things to reproduce that way they can see historically what went on. Well, if I click here on the video, it plays. If I were to present it in Google Slides, it plays on a click. But when I transfer it over here, what happens is when I transfer it over here to this Cami document, what ends up happening is the files pop out to another tab. Now, that's no big deal for some people, but for me, when I want them to take notes on it while watching it in the same screen, because I have some students that just need that, where they need to have that right in front of them. Not to mention it's very convenient, and Cami provides that add media thing. So what all you did, all you do is you create a fresh slide deck through Google Slides, you create the stuff that you want. Then all you do is you load it into Cami. You upload it by simply going to your Cami dashboard, okay? So if you just click on your Cami icon to launch the app, all you have to do is click on the open in Drive, open in Google Drive. So when that loads, I'll show you what, what I mean by that. That's all you have to do. And it creates an awesome, ability to where they can manipulate it through Cami, through drawing, through text tools, things like that. I'm immediately seeing like lab notebooks. Um, my wife used to be a science teacher and I'm, I'm sure that that would be great for that or math notebooks. So you just open from Google Drive, you open the file in Cami through your Google Drive, it makes a copy of it 
and there you go. You have the, the finished product right there. And what's great is that the kids can go, okay, so area in. So what I've done is I've created guided notes and they can just go in here with the text box tool. They can click the text box tool and they can put New York City. Oops, can't spell city right. There we go, city. And they've just created their guided notes. They can have this on a PDF in their drive. Once they are done with it, once they, are, once they have done, done it for the day, all they have to do is just download it. Just click download. And that creates their own copy within their drive. All right, that's all you have to do. Or you can save it and you can create your own copy. So what I would do is if you don't want your students to download it on their hard drive, because sometimes Google doesn't sync on Chromebooks. Um, sometimes it just gets flipped off for a second and it doesn't exactly sync sometimes if there's a glitch. All you have to do is click the little, have them click the save button. The drop down comes down to create your own copy. The students create, can create their own copy right away. It opens up a new tab sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, depends on how your settings are, and boom, you have your own copy of notes. This will save a lot of time, a lot of copying. If you already have your guided notes already, if, you, if you're somebody that does guided notes or an, a lab notebook or a math notebook or a history notebook or a language arts, I, I remember an interactive notebook with different parts of speech in eighth grade when I, when I would uh, be an EC teacher in eighth grade, uh, the teacher was very adamant about different parts of speech and how to write things and things like that. And they would glue stuff in. Well, this takes care of that. This doesn't even, you don't even have to have glue. You don't even have to have paper. All you have to do is create it. We already create these documents on the computer. So just go ahead and just drop it into Cami, have them post it on your, your LMS, your uh, either Google Classroom or Canvas, and have the students make a copy for themselves. It's that easy. I hope that helps you out, and I will see you all next time on another helpful Cami video.